again, the uh, data that they got periodically was from the tracking station the, uh, um, that uh, did have the antenna that was down and, and the uh, uh, basically just pointing it manually. We will not see spacecraft separation. We have no data at that time. That's as, as per plan. We got maybe for 10, 10 or 12 seconds of uh, ACN data, which was what we were looking for, and uh, we have a very nominal looking PAM at this time. Let's get Mackie commenting. That's probably the last of the uh, telemetry that we'll get back now from the uh, payload assist module. And that will wrap up uh, the commentary as far as uh, they are concerned. Uh, of course, everything at this point has gone uh, perfectly uh, normal. The uh, uh, Delta rocket and PAM upper stages have uh, completed their jobs. The Hughes ground controllers will now spend the next several days determining the spacecraft exact flight path using tracking data from a number of sources. And as mentioned earlier, the firing of the spacecraft's aperture kick motor should be on the 7th apogee or approximately 3 p.m. Friday to convert the spacecraft's orbit from an elliptical one to a circular one. And the angle of inclination will be changed so that the flight path will be directly over the equator. To recap this evening's activities, launch of Delta 170 in the Galaxy 1 satellite came at 7.08 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, a little bit later at the opening of the second launch window, that being because of uh, uh, troubleshooting of a problem with a range safety system display. The performance of both the Delta's first and second stages appear to be perfectly normal. The payload assist module was fired on time, uh, placing the satellite into its proper elliptical orbit. On all, it appears it was a good ride for Hughes.